Okay, Judd, now we got you on a horse, I, I want to kind of explain a little bit about what we do and what we teach our students. Um, you know, on a horse, we separate them um, from front to back. And right in here, there's a center line on a horse that runs right in here where we should keep our hips. Okay. You know, and it runs right down through here. And what determines um, in through here, right behind the girth, in front of the girth is the front end, in front of the, behind it is the, is the hind end. You know, and a horse can actually be blocked. If you're in front of this position here, you can actually block that horse or either way. So, and it happens to be right in the middle of where we sit. So, you know, most horses, are, are, are kind of made similar, but some are some are a little bit different depending on the scapular in the back. But, but where hips should sit right in here, um, you almost know, almost where the bull rope is. Almost where the bull rope is, and ideally, the way we'd like to ride is is for our hips to be aligned to run right down through through the middle of our sh of our shoulders, through our hips, and down right to the edge of our boot or our okay. heel. Okay, and. And that's a that's a pretty much a center line. So if you had to stand up from here, you'd stand straight up. You know, when we do posting, you know, when we talk about posting. Uh -huh. uh, we post. We have to we have to post with our feet up on underneath our stance. So if if I'm in front, if I'm standing here and I'm trying to post, what's going to happen? I'm going to fall backwards. Okay. You know, in the same way. If I have my feet behind me and I'm trying to post, I'm going to move forward. So ideally, you know, your feet are your foundation for your balance. So having your feet in the right right position you're going to be you know you're going to be balanced but of course we don't have any weight on our feet but we still have to put them in the correct position now you know riding a horse you have to have a lot of movement in through your hip you know you've got to be able to rotate your hips just just like if you were dancing you know yeah probably dirty dancing i guess <laughs> but you've got to be able to rotate your hips and drive your pelvic bone up forward and you're behind up underneath yourself. So your behind actually shifts right up underneath yourself. You grab it and you just slide it in, in the, with the rhythm of the horse. Let's see how we go here. You bet. Now you, you see how you keep re relocating your hips there? Uh -huh. and, but actually what you're doing is if, you had, if we slow motion this down, you are actually driving your hips just like we te teach riding here. Okay. See how your hips are rotating? Yep. And you're driving your behind up underneath your, yourself here. See there? Yeah. So you're actually working your hips because you've, you've done some riding, you know, that's becoming natural to you. Go ahead and ride him forward for me a little bit. Just try to drive your hips up underneath yourself, Brent. There you go, there you go, you feel that? Yep. Now, of course, if this bull, if this bull, I say, <laughs> if this horse was gonna jump forward, he'd go ahead and, and get in front of that line. But right now, he's just riding in what we call seat position two, a neutral seat position, and he's rolling his hips up underneath himself. But see, Brennan has a tendency of getting his feet too far forward there, yeah. see? If he just back his knees up a little bit and he's healed, there you go, right there, right there. Perfect, Brennan, perfect. Chad, go ahead and bring your knees up. That's it. You're leaning way too far forward, Chad. Drive your hips up underneath yourself. That's better, drop there. See the horse just did a flying yeah. lead change? So drive your hips, you straighten your shoulders up just to lay you better. Go a little bit deeper on the bottom of your hips, up through, the, up through your seat. That's it, right there, beautiful, good.